Radio presenter Roman Kemp was present at the Champions League final in Paris on Saturday, where Liverpool lost out 0-1 to Real Madrid, but the 29-year-old claims the hostility began before so much as a single kick of the ball. Roman reported that fans had been tear-gassed by police who laughed in their face before launching the attack. This morning on his Capital Breakfast show, Roman claimed there was discrimination against Liverpool fans and urged the authorities to investigate. He spoke of how a friend of his had suffered a panic attack while being herded, along with thousands of others, through a narrow alleyway less than one metre in width with a concrete wall on either side. The star also referenced a visually impaired man who had been part of the crowd. He explained, no one is kicking off and then all of a sudden, tear gas starts getting thrown at us. All of a sudden, the pepper spray starts coming out from the top, right around the gates labeling it the worst experience had ever had in a football stadium, Roman insisted, people, were, panicking. There were boys there. Young kids were in there. People trying to hold up their kids. Roman has since seen a string of tweets suggesting that Liverpool fans were to blame due to their behavior, something he was quick to refute. I'm not a Liverpool fan but I'll tell you right now, they did absolutely nothing wrong, he declared. It was just so, so horrendous. It was discriminatory against Liverpool fans. He added of the official response, then they have the cheek of it to say, oh, the game's kicked off, late, because of the late arrival of fans. It wasn't they wouldn't let you in. It was really, really scary. Dot kickoff began 36 minutes later than scheduled after the fiasco at the entrance gate. UEFA, the French interior minister and the sports minister have since claimed that fans with counterfeit tickets were to blame for the delay. However Roman has suggested that a large number of Real Madrid supporters had been able to gain access to the stadium before the Liverpool fans got inside. Liverpool West Derby MP Ian Byrne, who represents Labour, has also waded into the debate to declare he hadn't seen such terrible scenes since the 1989 Hillsborough disaster. He has made contact with the Foreign Secretary Les Trust to demand a public apology should be extracted from the French police. Meanwhile Roman has reiterated his belief that Liverpool supporters were on their best behaviour over the weekend, despite the disastrous loss to Real Madrid. Insisting that they weren't spilling out onto the street or causing carnage in local bars, he added, I didn't see one fight or anything that people associate with football hooliganism. There was no trouble. Everyone was, really, really polite. Capital Breakfast with Roman Kemp airs every weekday from 6 to 10 a.m. on Capital and Global Player.